unfortunately, Terrell Owens was 48 years old. Unfortunately, Terrell Owens wasn't liked by a lot of players. Because if Terrell Owens was liked by Tom Brady and other players, including maybe Mike Evans or whoever was on that roster, maybe Terrell Owens was probably brought out of retirement. Terrell Owens is still built like a beast. I mean, if you look at his muscles and you look at his the way he runs, he was running with Tyreek Hill, what was it, a couple of a year ago, and he ran, a, I think, an average of a 4-4 still. I mean, it's impressive when you see a 48-year-old man who hasn't played football in like five, six, seven years go out there and almost almost keep up with Tyreek Hill, who's, who's arguably one of the fastest, if not the fastest guy in the NFL. But Terrell Owens over the last you know few years, when, when you hear the stories that he's bankrupt, he has no money. He's trying to play in the CFL or whatever, whatever league he was playing in over the last couple of years or trying to get back in football only says one thing about Terrell Owens. He's now reaching and Tom Brady knows that. And Tom Brady knew that at the time. And he probably just didn't want to hear anything of it. Would you want to bring a big mouth player in like Terrell Owens that it demands the ball, who wants the ball 24 hours a day or 24 seven when you have players like Mike Evans and the weapons that you have over there? The prob- probably not. And Tom Brady obviously thought that he can do without Antonio Brown because Antonio Brown at that time in that year wasn't the same player he was. So again, you look at Terrell Owens and I, again, I feel bad the way the NFL treated Terrell Owens because I do believe Terrell Owens was a top three wide receiver. I think he's better than Randy Moss. Say whatever you want. All you Randy Moss fans out there that believe that Randy Moss was better than Terrell Owens, go look at the numbers. The numbers don't lie to you. Randy Moss never won a championship. Terrell Owens did. I, I mean, he. how many times did Terrell Owens play in a Super Bowl? I think it was twice. He played on the broken ankle or whatever it was. Yeah. I, he won with San Francisco, I think, with uh, uh, with yeah, uh, Steve uh, Young. I think at the Rice. end of his career, maybe, but like he was a rookie then. It doesn't matter. He won a Super Bowl, so I, I think he <laughs> won. Did, did Terrell Owens? Did Terrell? I think Terrell Owens was a part of that team. He's a rookie, if I'm not mistaken. He was with uh, Jerry Rice in his final year or two years over there with San Francisco. He was a big part of that that run with the Eagles, even on a broken ankle, whatever he had a broken leg. So I I, I feel bad for Terrell Owens because. Terrell Owens was always disrespected no matter where he went. But the reason why he was disrespected is his antics on and off the field. If you remember what he did with the Cowboys, if you remember what he's done with the Eagles before he became an Eagle, or even remember what he did against the teams that were in his division. Terrell Owens wasn't liked. He was probably disliked more than Randy Moss was. And, and that says a lot about who Terrell Owens was Terrell Owens was on and off the field. Now, could Terrell Owens still play in the league? If he can run a 4-4, and he can still keep up with some of the faster or the fast the fastest wide receiver in the in football. Yeah, I think he could still play in the NFL if he can still catch a ball and run routes. Is he going to be as efficient? No. And all it takes is one bad hit, which a lot of players will probably be gunning for him because he is Terrell Owens and he likes to talk. Um, it won't last that long. And I think teams don't want to be responsible for his injure his injuries or. A possible a possible opportunity for Terrell Owens to sue the organization or sue the league, which he's done or you know, or he's offered to do over the last couple of years because of what the league has done to him when it came to the Hall of Fame. So I I think Terrell Owens uh, obviously speaks highly of Tom Brady, and it has it, I I listened to the interview, but he also believes that it was Tom Brady's fault on why he didn't get a chance to actually win a Super Bowl and win his first ring as an NFL player. The media coming to him and saying that he's not doing anything wrong. Meanwhile, he'll throw he'll throw his quarterback under the bus. He threw uh, Tony Romo under the bus. He threw Donovan McNabb under the bus. He threw, at the end of Steve Young's career, Steve Young under the bus because of the whole Jerry Rice situation. I mean, uh, this is a guy that, you know, obviously had his own thoughts uh, when he was a part of those organizations. No matter how good he was, he always had his own opinion towards the organizations that he played for. Now, uh, even though he had his own thoughts about the Cowboys and what he has said over the years, especially when he was playing for San Francisco or the Eagles and what he was doing on the star in, in, in Dallas, uh, the Dallas Cowboys st- still brought him in and still brought him in because of his talent and what he could do on the football field. So sometimes owners and coaches look past what they have done in the past because of his talent and what he can do on a football field. As we see in the league, look how many outspoken players are in the NFL right now. And because of what they can do on a football field, you kind of look past that. 
And that's the thing. The NFL is, it's all about what you have done for me now and what you, not have you done for me lately. So I, you know, no, I actually, I, it's the opposite. I'm sorry. It's what, for, what have you done for me lately? Not what have you done for me now or in the past? So uh, it, it's unfortunately what's going on with what, what happened to Jarrell Owens, in, you know, with, when it comes to the money situation, what the NFL treated him as a Hall of Famer. And and really, when he thought he can come back and, and make a run again for a Super Bowl, why people or even players or quarterbacks didn't trust him enough to decide to, hey, reach out to the coach and say, listen, we could use a Terrell Owens on this team. 